Short guys, please. You had like, you know, 12 points in four minutes. What's going through your head early in the game? Set the tone. Uh, just got to set the tone. Uh, that's about it. Your uh, your dad almost didn't make it here, but uh, he was certainly there by the end. What what did it mean to to have him, you know, as you go to the, your first NBA Finals? Yeah, a lot. Uh, they were they had a seven hour delay, uh, but he made it, so it meant a lot to be here. You know, we we've seen you do this before in Phoenix, where you just kind of rip the hearts out of the uh, the crowd on the road in the elimination game. What is that? How would you describe that feeling to demoralize the crowd on the road in this situation? Uh, it's it's a good feeling, man. I can't lie. Uh, just go out there, and you know, it's us against them. Uh, just stay together. Uh, but that feeling, that feeling is great. Was there one fan in particular that you kept going at early on? And yeah. What what was that about? Oh, I can't tell you. If I tell you, I can sue him. But you know that that gets me going. Everybody knows that by now, so just gotta do it. And then uh, you know, you guys obviously last year disappointing, end up in the lottery to make this leap. What do you think were kind of the the key developments to make this happen, just in the span of a year? Insane. I think we got a great team, uh, but most importantly, we got the great guys and great guys on the team, from players to coaches uh, to everybody in the team. We have great guys, and that's the most important thing. Uh, like I said, we stay together and we just play basketball. You know, especially I think we beat three very, very, very good teams, uh, and not having home home advantage, uh, which is which is pretty good for us. For you personally, growing up watching the NBA from afar. Maybe watching the NBA Finals late at night. What does it mean to you to reach? I didn't platform? watch. I didn't watch because it was Too four late. in the morning. <laughs> I couldn't. I, I had school next next day. What does it mean to you personally to reach this milestone? Six years into your career, it means a lot, man. It means a lot. Uh, it's it's not easy. It was very hard road, uh, very hard. Uh, but we are here. Uh, you know, uh, obviously we're not done. We need four more. But I think today we all deserve to enjoy this win. You've had great games and closeouts at home, but on the road, is it sweeter? Way sweeter, yeah. yeah. Why? I mean, just because, you know, because of... Just because, uh, I mean, you know the crowd is going to be in there. Uh, you know, when you score the bucket, when we score it, uh, it gets a little bit quieter. Uh, so that's why it's, it's sweeter. Uh, but it doesn't matter if we win at home, if we win away. Uh, we just want to win. And... When you think of Boston, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? I mean, they're the best team in the NBA. Uh, they had by far the best record. Uh, they have some incredible weapons on offense and defense. Uh, so we're going to have have to play really hard and amazing basketball to beat them. Sorry? Jason Kiel, I can't hear you, sorry. Talk about how much Jason Kidd has made oh. this team and the influence he has in you guys. A lot. Uh, in everybody, too. Uh, you know, he understands me and Kyrie's role uh, because he's been in that role, so he helps us a lot. Uh, but everybody, he kept he kept everybody together. Uh, you know, we were up, we were down a lot, uh, especially during the season. Uh, it was ups and downs all the time, uh, but he kept us together. <clears throat> Uh, a lot, and like I always told, tell you guys, um, it's been great to have him. Uh, you know, it helped me mature. It helped me uh, see the basketball in a little bit different way. So uh, everybody's glad he's on our team. Luca, tu sonrisa lo dice todo. Viendo lo que ha sido tu camino, tu trayectoria con este equipo, hoy ver el trofeo frente a ti de MVP de las finales del Oeste, guiar a este grupo a las finales. ¿Qué son esas emociones, esas sensaciones? Uh, son emociones muy, muy buenas. Uh, ese trofeo es, es para todos, uh, es de todo el equipo. Uh, sin este equipo, sin estos jugadores, entrados, no, est no estuviera aquí. Así que gracias a ellos puedo tener este trofeo. Luca, two years ago, you guys were here as the younger team playing against an experienced Golden State team. Now that <coughs> role kind of reversed. Do you feel the difference in experience from 2022 to now? 
Uh, I wouldn't say reverse. I think we have a young team. Outside of Kyrie, you know, Kyrie getting old. Uh, but, you know, we just, we're a young team still. Uh, no, I think we, uh, there's a lot of people that wasn't in playoffs. Uh, we had that talk before players, you know, everybody together. And we just play. We like to play basketball. We like to play together. That's it. Oh, I'm old too. Yeah, me and Kyrie, we're the old heads on the group. And Keith. We're the past 30 years. Where does uh, where does that trophy go on the trophy case? Middle? Home. Off to the side? I don't know. Home, <laughs> home. I don't know where. What, what, what's in the middle? You know, is that Eurobasket still? or? Uh, I don't have that trophy. I wish I had. Mm, I have the yearly trophy, uh, but I don't know. We'll see. Well, maybe in four more wins, you might have one to go in the middle. Hopefully. That one for sure, if we make it. Thank you. All right.